Some post-practice info on Thursday from uh, Brian Bratton, wide receivers and uh, special teams coach. How's it feel to have camp behind you now? It feels really good. It feels really good. I think the best feeling about it is that we had a really productive, um, solid camp. Um, I think it was the most, the, the smoothest camp I've probably been a part of here at Furman. And, you know, that's a hats off to our players, our support staff, obviously Coach Hendricks and his leadership and uh you know, I think we just had, a, you know, we were blessed by some good weather, and uh, we just went really smooth. Does that scare you in any way? Uh, nah, you know, I'm a, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, let, let's first, let's talk about your wide receivers. Uh, the, the knowns that you have coming back obviously begin with uh, number 89, Thomas Gordon, who has just been uh, a heck of a young man for you. Yeah, he's a very talented player. Um, you know, we got to find different ways to get him the ball. Uh, we have to find, you know, different nuances and different things within our offense to formate him to get matchups. And I think we've done a good job doing it. The main thing about Thomas that you like so much is how hard he works, how hard he practices. He practices like it's a game. Um, he, and he sets a great example for how to go about that every day. And, you know, he has no choice but to get better because of his work ethic on the field. Some of the other veterans who are um, uh, showing good things for you? Yeah, I think a guy that's that's really stepped up has been Ryan DeLuca. Um, he's done he's probably had his best camp to date since he's been here and uh, very pleased with, with where he's come and, and how far he's come. And, you know, I expect him to be a, a very a, a huge contributor uh, this year. And he's set an example um, as well as Thomas for how to practice, how to work and be productive. Um, and then a guy like Luke, Luke Shiflett who came in, obviously people know him as coming in as a quarterback, but he's added you know, to our receiving court. He's done a great job picking it up, and we're trying to polish him up and get him ready to go. Any of the uh, freshmen who've come in that may have a chance to make an impact? Well, we'll see. I think we're still in some part of the growing parts of that. Um, we'll kind of see as we go. I, I tell everybody, you got to stay ready. you got to stay ready. We need everybody. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I think our veterans – can fill it up, you know, a guy, I feel like I mentioned Avery Armstrong, um, he's, in my mind, he is a starter, you know, he's a guy who goes in, does a lot of the dirty work, is capable of doing everything, um, makes minimal mistakes, and, and plays really hard, and he's very strong and very physical, and he's a guy that I'll count on, really, uh, those top four guys, we're really going to count on, and then we think Zach Peterson can come in and give us some depth there, um, and you know, hopefully we can get through injury free. Uh, we're praying and hoping. Let's flip it over to special teams. We're uh, got a, uh, I would say, a pretty good weapon in, in Grayson Atkins, uh, both with the field goals and, and the punting. He had a special year last year. He did, and hopefully he's ready to repeat that. Uh, we definitely look at him as a weapon, uh, one of the best in the in the conference and one of the best in the country. Um, obviously, we got to get him in field goal range. Uh, to do that, and hopefully he's kicking more extra points than field yeah. goals this year. Um, but when we need it, you know, everybody he needs to flip the field from a punt standpoint, and he's done a great job as far as kickoffs. I think we were uh, we led the conference in touchbacks. So, you know, we're looking to utilize him in a lot of different ways. He's very detailed. He does a great job. Um, you know, we've got to make big plays on special teams, and we did that last year, helped us win a game. Um, so hopefully we'll be a chance to do that again this year. Any qualms about using him in both roles? Would you prefer to have a separate punter and a separate kicker? I think in a perfect world, yes, but he's embraced it and he did well last year. So we'll go in um, with a plan of him doing all three, but also we'll have a plan um, of you know letting him do a couple and then letting somebody else steal some ropes from him. What about your coverage and your return units? Your coverage, coverage has been solid all camp. You know We worked really, really hard at it. Um, this year, we did a great job in camp of scheduling and putting everything together. Um, credit to all the coaches that, that are leaders of their, their respective uh, units. Very detailed, um, did a lot of competitive stuff in practice, a lot of detailed stuff, then we brought it together. Um, I think the kids know why we do things, and then we, we taught them how we do things, and then we brought them together as a unit. Um, coverage is going to be, you know, it's an effort thing. Um, and we're going to put guys on the field that want to go down and make plays, and I think that we've done that, and now we just got to put them in position to do it, and hopefully we do that by game plan. You, uh, you ready to get to game week? I am. I am. You know, camp is fun for a little bit, and, <laughs> and, then, and then you're ready to roll. But like I said, it's been a great camp. Um, really enjoyed you know, the effort that the guys gave every day. There wasn't one day where we came out and said they just dogged it. I think they, they really want to be champions, and they practice like it.
All right, Brian, thank you. Thanks.